Hello everyone and welcome in this video. Today we will see how and why we can use barcode nomenclatures with the point of sale in Odoo. Um, let me give you a small example. We have a shop uh, which is retailing some food and they have three types of products. The first one are vegetables and these vegetables um, are rated directly uh, by the customer uh, at a specific weighing scale and then the weighing scale will print a label that the customer can uh, use at the cashier to be scanned and to pay. Um, this is a first use of uh, barcode nomenclature with the point of sale. The second example would be some cheese, for example, that uh, is also um, priced depending on the weight. Uh, in that case, uh, I want my barcodes to include the specific price of the specific product that will be um, scanned at the cashier. And finally, barcode nomenclatures can be used also to put some discounts on uh, different products uh, at the cashier. And we will see how it works uh, in Odoo in three different steps. So these three steps are first, we have to create or update uh, the barcode nomenclature then uh, apply the barcodes to our products and finally use them uh, in our point of sales so let's see directly how it works in odoo i'm here in my database and as i am in developer mode i'm able to search for barcode nomenclatures so i will go directly there and uh, by default, Odoo already has uh, some uh, barcode nomenclatures that are created. So uh, for the purpose of this video, I deleted two of them um, uh, that I will have to recreate to show you how it works exactly. Um, so I need to add a line and I can name my root weighted products. I will say even weighted barcodes. That's more accurate. The type is important and I will put weighted product here in the type. So the barcode pattern is uh, not too complicated to understand. Uh, it's even easy to be honest. Um, it will always start with, um, in my case, two numbers that are like a prefix. Uh, in that case, I will choose 21. And these two numbers will have to be at the beginning of each uh barcode for the products that are rated in the post so i will put 21 here and then we have the dots uh, the, do the dots are used to express the numbers uh, that are used to identify uh, the product specifically so for example in my case i use uh, six numbers to identify uh, my products so i will put six dots one two three four five and six and finally, um, the last uh, information in the pattern is um, the number of uh, numerals and decimals that you want to use. So between brackets, I will have to put, uh, in my case, I want two numerals and three decimals. So that's it. Um, encoding, I use any uh, barcodes, but you can also use uh, EAN. 13 um, encoding in that case i uh, propose you to watch some uh, to read some uh, specific documentation uh, on odoo.com so encoding i will put any in my case i will save and close this one so this is for the weighted product i will uh, create a new one for Remember, I told you the cheese that is um, directly depending on the price and the price has to be included in the barcode. So I will create a new one called priced barcodes and I will put in the type priced product. Here it works pretty much the same way. I will just put a, another prefix. In that case, I will put 23. And uh, again, I will put my uh, six identifier numbers, I would say. So one, two, three, four, five, and six dots. And again, between brackets, I will put the number of numeral and decimals I want to use uh, in my barcode. Uh, in that case, I want three um, numerals and two decimals only 
because in a price usually we use only two decimals so i will save this and close i will put this here also and as you can see we also have here the discount barcode and the bar the barcode pattern is 22 uh, so which is the prefix and uh, two numerals so the two numerals would be for example uh, 50 and it means that you will use 50 percent but i will show you exactly how it works first let's have a look at my different products now so i will go here check for my products and as vegetable i got my tomato my tomato has a barcode that as you can see is starting with 21 and 21 is used for the weighted product remember so 21 and then i got my six digits to identify that it is a tomato so it will be one two three four five and six and finally every time uh, on my product template here i will put uh, five times zero so uh, two times uh, numerals and three times decimals same goes for my beautiful camembert my cheese here i got my prefix 23 and then as you can see six five four three two one so my six uh, digits and finally the five zeros uh, representing the three numerals and two decimals in that case okay and uh, i will show you also how it works for um for the discount uh, product but let's have a look with my barcode generator uh, which is externalized uh, from odoo i had the chance to create different uh, barcodes with the information about weight and uh, price etc let's have a look at this barcode for example it starts with 21 so i know it's a weighted product one two three four five six uh, is the identifier of my tomato and we got zero zero uh, seven five zero so zero zero numerals and seven five uh, zero so it's uh, 750 grams actually so because my product is in kilograms it will be um, 750 grams if i look at the next barcode starting with uh, 23 so it's a priced barcode uh, six five four three two one it's the identifier of my camembert and i got zero zero six four five since i got three numerals it will be six euro and uh, 45 cents uh, so yeah finally i got uh, another product that i didn't show you actually uh, my peanut butter is the one i will apply the discount on and my barcode is just one two three four five six seven eight and nine as you can see, I don't put anything from uh, the barcode pattern for discounted product because it can be directly uh, applied uh, on the um, on the barcode itself, um, and Odoo will recognize it in the point of sale. So I did show you this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine which is to scan the product and then I will be able to scan this one starting with 22 I know is the discount then I got my two numerals 5 and 0 which means 50% and then the identifier of my product which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 so let's have a look at how it works directly into Odoo point of sale so I go into my point of sale. I can open a new session. And I will just need to open my session here. And I will uh, scan. I will use this debug window to show you uh, with the barcode scanner. So first, I want to scan uh, my tomato. So my client did weigh this product at the weighing scale. The weighing scale printed uh my barcode um so that the customer can come with the uh 750 grams of tomatoes so remember 21 
and one, two, three, four, five, six for my tomato, and then zero, zero, seven, five, zero, and then it will print, it will add exactly zero point seventy five kilograms of tomato, which is exactly what I'm asking from that barcode. That's perfect. I can do another test with that product and add, for example, 500 grams. And if I scan, you can see it adds directly 500 grams. Let's do the same, but for my price product. I know that I want uh, some camembert, and this camembert costs, uh, for example, uh, 6 euro for, uh, 45. So I remember my uh, prefix is 23. Then the identifier of my camembert, 654321. And then I will put a 006, so that's my three numerals. And the cents, so the decimals will be 45. I can scan. And as you can see here, it will add my camembert with a price of 6.45 euros. Perfect. Let's now have the example of my peanut butter and I want to add a discount on that peanut butter so first I will scan the product itself by adding the, my barcode of the product <coughs> as you can see it adds the peanut butter and then if I scan my other barcode which is uh, including the pattern for uh, the discount so i remember the prefix was 22 and then i can add any numeral so for example i can put here it will be 50 percent and now look at the line here if i scan with a discount of 50 percent perfect and as you can see if i change if i scan again but with 30 percent instead of 50 so i had 30 just need to scan and it will change directly the discount. So I recommend you to go watch uh, and read the documentation about barcode nomenclatures that I will put in description. And thank you very much for watching.